What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another little get ready with me, a little drugstore get ready with me with a bit of a twist because I'm gonna be showing you guys like my everyday makeup, but I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I take my everyday makeup add a little bit more makeup and then transform it into like a night look. Everything that I'm using today is gonna be drugstore, whether it's like skincare, makeup, hair care, whatever, you're gonna be able to pick it up either in like boots or super drug. I have once again teamed up with Mark Hill for the hair portion of this video that you guys will see later on in the video, but it's basically gonna be me showing you a few of my different favorite barrels for the pick and mix wand. They've just launched three new extra long barrels, which is obviously perfect if you have long hair like me or long fake hair like me. But yeah, just a little heads up that I will be using those later on in the video. But yeah, if you guys wanna see how I transform myself from like an everyday glam to a really intense evening glam using just drugstore products, please stay tuned. All right, so first I'm just gonna start off by putting on my ears. I just fake tanned, well, I fake tanned and I just washed it off, so I'm looking hella brown right now. Slash orange. All right, so for moisturizer, I'm gonna be using this guy here. It is the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. So I'm just gonna take some of that. And I mean, actually I'm just gonna just do this to be honest, that'll do. Then for foundation, gonna be using an old face. I'm gonna be using my Milani 2-in-1. I'm using it in the shade Light Beige number 03. Haven't used this in a while, but this is the color that I used to use when I would fake tan before. So hopefully it still matches. But yeah, this is like my all time favorite foundation. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lag myself in it because let's face it, when I say everyday makeup, I still mean like enough makeup to withstand a nuclear bomb. But yeah, I'm just gonna pounce that on my skin. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using this guy here, the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This is in the shade C6. So I'm gonna go under my eyes with that, a little bit on the nose, and then I'll just do some very strategically placed stripes to kind of like highlight, but also to cover up these spots that I got going on here. And I'm just gonna pounce that under my eyeballs. Everyday makeup look, cake face edition. And then for powder, I'm gonna take the MUA Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. This is like a fairly new discovery for me, but I love it. It's actually really, really good and it's like a fiver. I find with this foundation as well, you really don't need too much powder. Like, don't get me wrong, the foundation is quite like oily and like dewy looking, but it's not one of those foundations that need to be like fully set down. So I only use a little bit of powder. So now for bronzer, I'm gonna be using this contour kit from Nip and Fab, and I'm gonna be using the shade Latte, I think it is, maybe. This one here for contouring. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my brush and just chisel out some cheekbones here. I do like little teeny tiny swirling motions. And then just gonna take a big fluffy brush and go back in with that contouring shade there. And basically just run that in my crease and a little bit on my lid as well, just to create a little bit of something, something going on. I like to use quite a big fluffy brush on doing this just because I find it doesn't concentrate it too much in one area and you can basically be as messy as you want to be and it'll always kind of look all right. And then I just take the edge of that and run it on my lower lash line. I literally feel naked if I don't do my lower lash line. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little bit more color in my face because I look a little bit gray right now. So I'm gonna be taking this shade here, which I think is called Ginger from the same Nip and Fab palette. And I am going to Add a nice little bit of orange to my cheeks to match the rest of my body. Orange used to be one of my favorite colors when I was younger, so why not wear it all over my skin? All right, so now the bit that I'm most excited for, which is of course highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Barry M Baked Tri-Blend Highlighter. This one here is in the shade Bronze Deco. I used this before in a testing video, and it's insane. It's quite dark, just a heads up. I mostly like to focus on like this shade here, and even still, like, it's still not like the lightest highlighter in the world. So I'm just gonna take a little bit here. Like, look at that. Madness. So then I'm just gonna take a little pencil brush and take some more of that same shade there and literally just dot that on the inner corner. Like, look at it, it's just, I love it. Even Ollie said to me the other day, he was like, I've never seen someone get so excited about highlights. And I'm just like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just can't help it. I feel like there was a point where like everyone was obsessed with highlighter and it was kind of like a kind of like a trending thing to be like obsessive highlighter, like yes, blinding queen, but honestly, I just I just love it. So then I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit more of that bronzer and just kind of dust that over the top just so there's no harsh line. Then I'm gonna set all that down using the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Spray. Definitely just got some in my mouth then. So then for brows, I'm gonna take my Makeup Obsession Brow Pomade, a very, very good dupe for the Anastasia Pomade. Not as like waterproof, but I mean, unless you're gonna be running into some kind of waterfall or something, I think you'll be all right. 
I'm not going to do anything too mental. I might do a slightly fuller brow later on, but I'm just going to fill in my arch like I normally do. I'm just going to put the tiniest little bit through the front there. So now for my brows, I'm just going to be using this e.l.f. brow gel. It's just like a clear, like, brow gel and mascara that they do. And then I'm also going to be filling them in with my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler. It's like an OG fave. Yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit of that clear brow gel just to basically spike my brows up. It could be a bit more messy with the stuff. And then while that's wet, before it sets or anything, I'm going to go in with a little teeny tiny bit of this stuff. And basically put that through the middle of my brow and then also right to the end. And then whatever's kind of like left on the brush, I just put it through the front there. So then for mascara, I'm going to be using an OG fave. This one is like limited edition packaging. It's like the Valentine's Day packaging. Um, I've actually just run out literally like yesterday. I ran out of my other one that I've been using for so long. I should probably say what it is. It is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. I love this stuff so much, man. Like I have a lot of mascaras from doing like testing videos and stuff, like a lot. Stay tuned for like the full makeup room video because you'll go see like have a full drawer of them. But this is literally like my top three mascara, without a doubt. Anyone else prefer mascaras when they're like a bit old? Like not ancient, but when they're like a few weeks old and they kind of dry up a little bit? That's my fave. Like don't get me wrong, I love this mascara as it is now, but I'm just so excited to use it in a few weeks time when I know it's gonna get a little bit thick, a little bit clumpy. That is like my jam. Like I live for the two week old mascara. Yeah, I'm just doing that on my top lashes for now. So now for lips, I'm gonna be using this little combo here. This is the Barry M Lip Liner in the shade So Chic. So it's like a really kind of like dark brown. So I'm just gonna overline the shizer out of my lips. I never hear anyone raving about Barry M Lip Liners, but they're actually bomb. And then do a little contouring. This is obviously me just being a little bit extra. You can just slap it on if you want to. You don't have to do all this stupid stuff. Then from Revolution Pro, I'm gonna be going in with this lipstick here. It is in the shade Cashmere. And I'm gonna fill in between those lines and put it in. Then I remember one of you once messaged me and you were like, I swear no nude lipstick has ever nude enough for you. And it's true. So I'm gonna take a little bit more concealer and I'm basically gonna take the excess off there and just Tap that in the middle of my lips and tap it on my finger. I just always like the way that concealer lips kind of look. It just cools the lips down a bit, makes it a bit lighter, gives you a bit more of like oomph. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Sorry, didn't mean to give you guys a finger then. So yeah, that is pretty much all I would do for like an everyday glam kind of makeup look. Something fairly easy. You still look very much put together. It's one of those looks that kind of work for everything. You could wear it to work, you could wear it to a lunch. Obviously it depends on like your rules at school and stuff, but you could also wear this kind of thing to school as well. You might just want to wear like a little bit less coverage depending on the rules of your school. Or you could just be a rebel and do it anyway, but don't tell them I told you that. So yeah, that's just kind of all I would do if I was doing just like an everyday makeup look that kind of suits all occasions. When it comes to my hair, I usually do like to just wear my hair straight. I find it really easy. But one thing I have been doing recently is curling my hair a little bit more. And I love it. I'm really into it. So the curler that I've been using is, of course, this guy from Mark Hill. It is the pick and mix. So basically the idea with this is you have the handle and then you can interchange the barrels. I have like every single barrel imaginable. And Mark Hill have actually just brought out three new barrels that are part of their extra long range, which as you can imagine, are a little bit longer. So I believe they're like two inches longer than the standard barrels. So I'm gonna be using this guy here today. I forget the exact name, but I will like put it on screen now. So basically what you do, you have your barrel, you have your wand, you literally just like slot it in like that. You'll know when it's kind of in and just make sure that you lock it in place just so it ain't going anywhere. Then just switch it on. Takes around about 15 seconds to heat up, give or take. So then while I'm waiting for that, I just give my hair a little spritz of this. And I honestly feel like this makes a huge difference with my hair. It is the Mark Hill Long Wear Curl Hold Spray. I love it. I've literally gone through like half a can. So basically all I'm going to do, and I'm not going to be overly fancy with this. I'm just going to take a few sections of my hair and just spray that through. And then I make sure I curl my hair like away from my face. So I'm just going to spin that around there. So I'm just gonna wait around for 10 seconds or so. I always get scared doing my hair on camera. I feel like it's gonna be a repeat of that girl who curls her hair on camera and it just falls off. I'll insert that clip now. But yeah, hopefully that's not gonna happen this time around. So yeah, I'll just unwind it. And this just gives you like a really nice kind of natural wave to the hair. So then I'll literally just repeat the same throughout the rest of my head. I'm not even too precise about it. Like I could section up my hair. I could spend extra time doing it, but also, I just want to create nice kind of like natural waves. So I'm just doing it a little bit messy. 
I'm also lazy, so there's that. And then yeah, just basically repeat that throughout the whole of my head. So then once I've done a few of my waves, I will just take a little bit more of the curl hold spray and just spray that over the top to kind of lock everything in place. I'm not brushing it out yet. I'm just leaving it like that for a minute. Honestly, like I know this is an ad. I know you've probably seen loads of people doing ads to Mark Hill and everything, but I literally don't use any other color. Like I use this and then I use the one that's in the Too Faced box with my face on it. Like literally the only colors that I use are the Mark Hill ones. So yeah, I'm just gonna carry on doing this for the rest of my hair. It probably takes me around like 10 minutes or so to do a full head and then I'll check back with you guys, show you what I do next. All right, so this is about where I'm at with my hair. So as you can see, it's just like some really loose kind of natural waves. So yeah, I've just gone ahead and just put in that curl spray, add a little bit extra for good luck. And then if I do need to sort out a few of these little flyaways, I will just take my taming polish again from Mark Hill, take a bit of that, rub it between my fingers. And oh my God, is my parting annoying anyone else? What has even happened there? Okay, that's better. And then I'll just run whatever's kind of left on my fingers to the ends of my hair as well, just so it's all nice and uniform. And yeah, that's kind of it for like my everyday sort of hair and makeup. Although let's face it, every day realistically is a messy bun and like spot cream on my face. So now I'm just gonna go about my day, live my best life. I actually don't have anything planned. I might go to McDonald's. But yeah, I'm gonna wear this hair and makeup for a few hours and I'll check back with you guys later on to show you how I transform all of this into something a bit more nighttime appropriate. So yeah, see you guys in a sec. All right guys, so it is a few hours later and this is how my hair and makeup is looking. So now basically I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I take this makeup look into something a little bit more kind of evening-y, something you can like go on a night out with, go to dinner with. So now what I'm gonna be doing, again, using all drugstore products, I'm basically gonna be showing you guys how I take this makeup look into something a little bit more evening appropriate without having to like take anything off. I mean, do I bring the ears back? I kind of have to really. All right, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is take the same beauty blender that I use to actually put on my makeup. Usually by the time I'm like back or something, this will still be a little bit moist, but if it's not, I do just dampen it a bit. So basically, I'm gonna go over any spots on my face that I think maybe look a little bit creased, a little bit not so fabulous. And I'll just kind of like go over the center of my face as well to get rid of any shine. So then what I'll do is I'll go back in with the same concealer that I used earlier on that day. So again, my Revolution one. And I'll just kind of like go over a few little areas that I feel like maybe need a tiny bit more coverage. Sometimes I'll kind of judge it to see how my under eyes are looking. If my under eyes aren't looking too powder or anything, then I will actually go back in with a little bit more concealer. Now I don't like to use too much concealer around areas that I maybe like put bronzer or something, just cause then it can look a little bit more obvious. But where I highlight with concealer at the start, I just kind of like go over that bit sometimes. I really only ever do this if my under eyes are looking like moist enough. Said moist twice in this video, three times now. But yeah, it all just kind of depends on how I'm looking, but yeah, sometimes I will add more concealer. So then um, I could pretend that I do this in a really fancy way, but literally for my lips, I do this. And then I'll obviously go and like wipe my hand. If I have like a wipe around or something, then I will probably just wipe my hand. But yeah, I literally just like basically wipe my lip liner off. Put a little bit more concealer on there. If I've been wearing like a liquid lipstick or something, I might add a bit of lip balm. I'll just kind of, again, just see how I go. But yeah, I'm literally gonna like blot my lips down to get rid of any harsh line. And now the stage that I'm at right now, where I look really ghostly, I feel like I can basically just build on that and transform the look a little bit. So now I'm not gonna do any powdering down or anything like that. I'm literally just gonna go straight in with bronzer. So I think I'm gonna take a mixture of these two here. Again, still using like all the same products that I was using before. And uh, I'm gonna go a little bit more heavy with the bronzer now. And sometimes I will sweep my brush under my eye a touch just to kind of make it look a little bit more blended in. And obviously because I'm not using like loose powder on top of all of this, I do find that by just dusting the tiniest little bit around the whole of my face, it does just kind of help to mesh everything together. And then for highlighter, I'm actually gonna be using this guy here purely because I can't find the Barry M1, but I have really gotten back into my sleek palette. So I'm gonna be using the shade or the palette Cleopatra's Kiss. And I think I'm gonna be using the shade Sphinx. And yeah, I'll literally just dust that right on top of where I highlighted earlier. But realistically, I'll probably add even more than I added earlier because this is an evening look. So I mean, literally any chance I get to add more highlighter, I'll take it. So now I'm gonna go back in with my contour shade. I'm fully aware I'm doing this as like a really weird order, but I'm gonna just build that up again a tiny little bit more. And then I'll also take a fluffy eyeshadow brush, 
go back in with that contour shade that I was using and tap it in a few times, but like tap it in then also tap it off on my hand. And I'll do a little teeny tiny bit of nose contouring as well. All right, so now we'll go back to the eyeballs. So basically I'm gonna turn this little wash of eyeshadow into something a little bit more smoky. So the palette that I'm gonna be using is the Nip and Fab eyeshadow palette in the shade Sculpted. So it's this guy here, a lot of kind of like cool neutrals. And I'm gonna go in with this shade here on a fluffy brush. It's pretty similar to what I've already got in my crease, but because it's an eyeshadow, as opposed to a bronzer, which I used earlier, it's gonna be a little bit more pigmented. And what I'm gonna to start to do with this as well is to make it look a bit more dramatic. I'm just gonna to start to fan it out there a bit. So then I'm gonna go straight in with this guy here. It's basically like a very, very, very dark brown. And I'm gonna focus that on my outer corner. I'm just kind of getting the right sort of shape. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that color and I'm basically gonna go straight on my lower lash line. Another little life hack for you is if you really smoke out your lower lash line and your makeup's creasing, no one will know because you've gone and colored over it with like black eyeshadow. I'm then gonna go back in with that shade that I used in my crease. I'm gonna take quite a lot on a fluffy brush because I'm not gonna be blending it like I normally would with a fluffy brush. I'm basically gonna just tap that over the top of what I just put down right on the center. And then with whatever's kind of left on the brush, sometimes I will just dust it off in the back of my hand, but with whatever's left on the brush, I will just blend that outwards a bit and then also just go under my eyes. And then if I do want to kind of sharpen any bits out, I will just go back in with my sponge, my little sponge friend. And then I'm gonna go back in with my sleek palette and I'm basically gonna highlight my inner corner, my outer corner, my eyebrow corner, any corner, any crevice I can find, you can bet your ass I'm highlighting it. So I'm taking that gold shade again and I am really pressing that on the inner corner. Then we're gonna take an old fave of mine, the Collection Glam Crystals. I haven't used these in so long, but I'm gonna be using the gold shade. Oh, wow. I really don't know what's happened to my brush. Yeah, I wasn't lying when I said I had this for a really long time. My brush has gone crazy, but I'm still gonna try and use it. So I'm basically gonna stamp that glitter on my lid there, like right on the inner corner. And I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that I was using before the fluffy one, and just make sure I buff out the edges there. And then do the same on this eyeball. Just splatter around. You know what they say? Waste not, want not. And if I do need to, I will sometimes just go back in with that same eyeshadow from before, the one we keep going back to, and just lightly feather that back in there again, just to make sure it's all blended. So now I'm gonna get back in with my mascara, and realistically, I'm not gonna add too much on my top lashes, because I don't want it to start looking really, really clumpy. But say for example, if I can see that there's like a few fibers on the end that I could still get without it looking clumpy, I might add to it a bit. If I got a bit of eyeshadow on my lashes, I might add a little bit of mascara over the top, but otherwise I don't really touch my top lashes too much. But I do go ham on the bottom ones. So I really make sure that I load them up. And then I'm also gonna go back in with a little bit more of my Maybelline Fiber Filler. And again, I'm not gonna add much. I'm not adding it to like add product as such. It's just to kind of, just in case any of the bronzer, any of the concealer, whatever, do kind of like get in the hairs. So now for lips, I'm, I've been looking at this from NYX. It's one of their um, liquid suede's. I'm kind of thinking, do I put that all over my lip? I mean, it's a bit too predictable if I do a nude lip. So if I just do like a dark nude lip, then it's different, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and, is that dark enough? Yeah. So I'm just gonna fill in my lips. Hi, my camera cut out. Uh, basically all I did is I filled in my lips with this and then while it was still wet, I took a little teeny tiny bit of concealer and just kind of highlighted the center. Overdrew my lips way too much, but with this kind of color, there's no going back. So I'm just gonna have to roll with it. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the Revolution Spray. Just so I know I'm locked in for like another 24 hours. So last but not least, for my face, I'm gonna be adding some lashes. So these are the Isla Luxe lashes in the style Baroque, I think. They look like this anyway, very nice. So yeah, I'm gonna give these a little trim. I'll probably trim them like halfway, to be honest, and make them kind of like corner lashes instead. But yeah, I'm gonna pop them on, then I'll show you guys the finished look, and I'll also show you a couple of other hair ideas as well. So see you in a sec. All right, guys, so this is the finished look with lashes and also with a little outfit change, and I'm actually low-key obsessed with it. 
I feel like this is maybe like a new kind of like everyday glam situation for me. It's a lot, but I'm really into it. All right, so now let's do another little hair switch up. So obviously the product that I'm gonna be using is the Mark Hill Pick and Mix. So I've already used the extra long, whatever it's called, barrel here. I'm just gonna unlock it and then take this bad boy off. Then I'm gonna be using this guy here, which is a new fave. I think it's called like the drop curl or something. So again, I'm gonna lock that guy in. And then while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I'm just gonna take a section of my hair here. And once again, just spray my hair with the long wear curl hold spray. So then I'm gonna take a little section about this big. And once again, I'm gonna do exactly the same, but I'm gonna curl away from my face. So again, for about 10 seconds or so, and then slowly unravel it like that. And you've got a bit of extra something, something going on. So yeah, once again, same thing, same sort of size chunk of hair and I just spin it around there. Just slowly unravel it and then just kind of shake it off. And there you go. So just like that. And again, I'm gonna leave them to kind of cool down. Give them a little spritz of this guy again. This is a very weird look going on for me right now. So again, with the other side of my face, I will just curl away from my face again. Honestly, I don't know what happened one day, but I used to hate curly hair on myself. And then one day I just curled my hair and I was like, oh, wait, no, I actually quite like that. And I've just been doing it ever since really. So like something in my brain went and I was like, oh, you don't look like that much of an idiot. Cool, do that more. So this is how my hair looks once it's all done. So now I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and pop it in a little low ponytail. All right, so now I'm gonna try out something that admittedly I've actually not tried out before. It's the only pick and mix bar I've actually not tried because I'm a little bit scared of it, but only because I feel like I'll look silly with these curls. But what I've done, as you can see, is I've pulled these little guys down here and just tucked the rest of my hair behind my ears. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a go. So the one that I've got right now is the extra long barrel. Oh, oh, I'm not gonna do it for too long. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, oh, I actually love that. I mean, I need to, I need to maneuver this guy in place a little bit, but that's actually really cute. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the perfecting polish, which I use all the time anyway. Take the tiniest amount between my fingers and yeah. So I'm just gonna smooth this little guy out and this guy here. I don't know guys, what you think? Shall I do this like all over my head? I'm scared, but I've also seen people that look great with this, so let me know. Maybe I'll do it one day. So I'm now just gonna quickly take that out again. Let's get you back behind there, pal. So then I'm gonna switch myself over again. So unlock, take a doof. And I'm not gonna go in with this guy here. I'm saying nothing. And let's switch this guy on. And basically I'm gonna use this to curl some of the shorter parts of like my natural hair here. For like a fairly kind of natural wave, I will just leave it and just kind of like blend it into the rest of my hair. But if I do want slightly tighter curls, then I will just go in with this guy here. So I'm gonna take another little section and I'm not gonna start it all the way at the top. I'm just gonna sit it there and then just unravel that guy a little bit and it just creates kind of waves to the hair that also helps to blend it in a bit more. I mean, you can do this with all the other ones. I just find it a lot easier with this one to get my shorter bits. And then just take another little bit of that taming polish and just flatten all the hairs around there. And it just adds a little bit more sun and sun into like the crown of my head there. And I'm ready for a night out, baby. And by that, I mean I'm ready to watch Netflix, baby. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. I'm honestly like, I've done a smoky eye, cool tone sort of look before, but I, I don't know what I've done differently today, but I'm really feeling it. As always, I will link everything in the description box down below from like skincare to makeup to hair care, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.